Hey yo, hey yo, you are not rocking with the best. Breaking records, radio. Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, but speaking of which, you know, just Terror Squad and all that, um, you know, I do want to get into, you know, with you, kind of the lineage, what we are talking about, you know, some crazy moments and stuff, but I want to start it kind of from the jump, so, I know you introduced yourself to uh, Fat Joe when you were 13, I was just kind of curious, like, how, how did you get the opportunity to even get in front of Joe to begin with? Well, we come from the same neighborhood. Okay. Like, we come from Forest Project. We come from Forest Projects. There's two parts of Forest Projects. There's the first part and the second part. Argumentally, argumentatively, you know, we always talk about who, <laughs> what's the first half and who's the, what, what's the second half. Like, we're the original first part. No, you know. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That was the inside joke and yeah. shit we talk about. But Joe's from Forest Projects. Um, I moved to Forest Projects in 1990, uh, 1991, going on 1992, uh, I heard about, I heard about a group called Digging in the Crates, Diamond D, Showbiz, AG, OC, North Finesse, Big Al, you know, yep. and they had a Spanish dude that was down with them. That was intriguing as a, as a kid, you know. Uh, never mind that I was just learning about hip hop, you know, because I was into salsa music and R&B music, and then moving into Forest Projects, and it was just a whole different element, a whole different uh, scenery, you know. And um, through a mutual friend of ours that I started hanging out with as a kid and just being curious and running around and living in the neighborhood and things like that. You know, I kind of asked them how I would go about, you know, letting somebody hear my music or hear me sing anyway, because I didn't have an actual recorded professional record or had I ever been into an actual professional recording studio. Yeah. So I asked them how I could let someone hear me sing and stuff like that, and he was like, yo, Fat Joe. And I was like, holy shit, Fat Joe, uh, digging in the crates, this, that, blase, blase, and he was like, yeah, that guy. And Joe was working on his Represent album, you know, Flo Joe and, yeah. and, and, and all of that. So um, one day he came to the neighborhood, one day he came to the neighborhood and he stopped at he stopped at the store on 166 and Trenton Avenue across the street from 23 Park. And I gained the courage to walk up on him and I told him I sang. And he was like, well, sing something for me, shorty. Do you know what I mean? This is young Fat Joe and young Tony Sunshine. Yeah. 13-year-old Tony Sunshine, you know. So he said, sing something for me, shorty. And I sang Forever My Lady by Jodeci for him. And I blew him away. He was like, oh, oh, holy shit. Like, you, oh, you sing, sing. Like, you, you're not playing. Like, you sing, sing. And I was like, yeah. He was like, that's dope, shorty. He conversated with me from the middle of the block all the way to the corner. Um, He jumped in his, in his MPV and he broke out. The, the very next day, he pulled up to the block with God bless it there, full flex, and full flex opened the door, jumped, he, he first he lowered the window and told me to jump in the car. And I was like, huh? And then he jumped out, he was like, come on, R&B, because they would call me R&B, <laughs> you know? And I jumped in the car with him, and the rest is history. You know, I remember going with him to Relativity Records, you know, before Steve Rifkin branched off and opened Loud Records. Yeah. Uh, I remember doing video music box with him. I remember going to go see High Five. And, you know, I believe that the whole reason for going to see High Five was for, so that I could sing for them and Joe can uh, secure a deal for me. But I was so young at the time and I needed guidance and things of that nature and, 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 and they were moving and they were doing what they was doing and I believe that they didn't have time to hold my hand. So of course I had to wait my turn until I was much older. Yeah. You know, during the process, during the process of waiting my turn and during the process of just waiting to get much older,